Hi guys! So today I'm wearing a fancy outfit and some fancy hair. Links down below to one of my great friends, Bunny aka Graveyard Girl here on YouTube who did this hairstyle. Today we're going to do a makeup tutorial inspired by Steampunk. It's a mishmash of Victorian era things that have been engineered around steam. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's so cool. So hopefully we could do it justice. I'm going to do some gears on my face, a bold lip and eyes. So let's get started with the tutorial. So first off on my face, I'm going to prime it with the Pore Professional by Benefit, my absolute very favorite primer at the moment. Swipe that all over. Then I'm going to use my Ket Cream Foundations. These are my favorite, a very light color under my eyes to cancel out the baggages under there. The bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Then the rest of that lighter color that's still on my finger, I'm going to dab it under my nose. Then I'm taking a shade that actually matches my skin tone, dabbing it all over in the areas where you didn't do the highlighter color. Then getting my damp beauty blender sponge and blending that all in. Honestly, there's a lot cheaper alternatives for the beauty blender sponge. It's way overpriced. There's a great one by Real Techniques at Ulta for like six bucks. I think it's actually better than this one. I need to get my hands on it. Then I'm just going to get my Hidden Agenda Concealer, anyone will do, using the Samini More Pinky Undertone Concealer under my eyes. And then the Neutral Tone one that matches my skin more to cover blemishes on my face. Then I'm getting a matte press powder with a big fluffy brush and setting all of that makeup we just put on that face. Putting some eyeshadow primer. This is the e.l.f. one that's only a dollar. You can't go wrong. Then getting my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and putting that all over my eyelids and blending it out with my fingers. Both of these products are going to act like a great base for the eyeshadows that we're going to put on our eyes. Getting the brightest of shimmery of gold like Midas just touched your eyeballs. We are going to swipe that eyeshadow on our eyelids. Girl, blend it out to that brow bone. You do not want like patches of gold on your eyeballs. Then getting a bronze color with a pencil brush, a deep bronzy color, and doing that on the top lash line and then in my crease on both eyes and then getting this white shimmery kind of a yellow tone eyeshadow in the middle right in the center so it gives your eye color more dimension and depth. Going back to the bronze eyeshadow and putting that on your lower lash line as well. Taking this brown rimmel eyeliner pencil and then tight lining your eyes. This looks dangerous and gross and it is kind of. Doing that on your waterline as well, on the top lash line. Doing the same thing on the other eye. This is like Fear Factor Cosmetic Edition. Then get that pearlescent white yellow eyeshadow color that I used for the center of my eyelid and then dab it on the inner tear ducts of my eye. Blending in some more of that bronzer. You can make it as deep and dark as you want. I just like to make my eyes pop, not out of my skull, just with colors. Getting eyelash curler and curling them eyelashes. Putting a little bit of mascara on because we are going to do another trick after this. But first, we are going to get this dark, like, mossy brown with a little bit of hints of black in it and darken in where we did that bronzer on the corner of your eye. Blending that all together. Now it's time to put on those fake eyelashes. I'm going to attempt it. This is only like my second time I've ever put on eyelashes. These are the exact same eyelashes that I used in my Grinch makeup transformation if you've seen that. So we're going to put it on those lashes with duo glue. Don't stick it on your eyeball or rip any lashes out. I've almost done that before. Putting on eyelashes for the first couple times feels like an Olympic sport. It's very tough and rigorous. But girl, afterwards, you look like one of those beautiful baby deers in a forest with your long, beautiful eyelashes. Get some mascara to blend your natural eyelashes into those giant fake ones you just pasted on your face. If you don't know how to do eyelashes, it's okay. You don't have to do the fake eyelash step. I understand. And then once you think you have everything blended and those eyelashes on, we're going to get some liquid eyeliner. Maybelline Stiletto is the one I'm using. And do some fancy winged out cat liner. All from the inner corner of your eye this time to the outside and on your bottom lash line as well. You can go as exotic as you want on this. Do some fancy swirls or something. 
Now it's time to fill in your brows. Get whatever brow product you are comfortable with that you naturally use that matches your hair color. I love using Benefit's Gimme Brows with a little tiny bib and mascara wand. Just filling in them brows how I naturally do. And then once you think your brows are ready, set, go, you can do a little brow raise like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Once you got your sultry gold steampunk eyes on, you're gonna get a gold makeup color. I'm getting the Makeup Forever one, but you could use one by Ruby's. It's a lot cheaper. But I just start off with a gold swipe on my cheek, and I decided it's not pigmented enough to see, so I got a plain old 99 cent brown eyeliner pencil and just started drawing cogs on my face. The first huge one on my cheek. Try to have a steady hand and make it as symmetrical as you want. And then another cog on my other cheek. Again, if you want to use a liquid liner or something that's more precise, you can. This one kind of looks like a fan blade with like cogs and stuff coming out of it. Then I'm doing a huge swipe near my jawbone and this is going to be turned into another huge giant cog with like more spaced together little cog tip things that go interlock with each other. What are they called? I'm not that mechanical. Then one giant wheel cog thing on my chin. Get as fun, stylish, and freehand with these as you want. A panel on my temple. It's gonna be like a gold plated panel thing like you see on machines. And now another panel on my other temple. Doing another cog more towards the inside of my face near my nose. That has more spike tips on the cog edges. Looks more like a saw blade. Now to really start coloring in the lines, I am getting a yellow pigment face paint and coloring that panel. First I'm going to start off with yellow, then I'm going to put on some gold face paint over that. If you don't have this, you use gold eyeshadow because I'm going to set this with gold eyeshadow afterwards. Then I'm going to start doing the same thing on the other cogs. Get a paintbrush to be as precise as you want. Do the yellow face paint, then the gold face paint, and set it with a gold eyeshadow. Then I'm going to get some bronze gel eyeliner. This one's by Tarte with a very thin eyeliner brush and start outlining the cogs after you paint them just so we don't have them blend into our skin too much. Then I'm getting some of that bronze eyeshadow that we used on our eyelids and patting it with a little baby eyeshadow brush over certain details and making shadows and depth on these cogs on our face. You're going to want to do the same thing to the other spiked cog and on that panel on our temple. Now it's time to paint in that bottom cog that we drew on our chin. Same process as the other ones. You can make all these cogs have different shapes, intertwine into each other. It'd be really cool if you did a clock too. You can maybe do some gold bars that are connecting to the cogs. Whatever you want to do, just have fun with it. Painting in the gold panel on our other temple, you know, doing those shadows and stuff, it looks like we are a golden majestic terminator. And then paint in that cog on the cheekbone right next to it. This one kind of looks like one of those Dutch water wheel things that are connected to houses and cottages like in Bell. This bronze gel eyeliner and the bronze eyeshadow that you tap on top of these yellow golden cogs are going to give it like this really cool effect like your face is getting rusted from working so much, all these cogs and stuff on your face like your steampunk android thing. Then moving on to that last cog that's on your jawline. Honestly, if you make any mistake, you can always use makeup remover on a Q-tip. That's always the trick. I mean, it'll get rid of some of that foundation we put on, but if you want to put some face paint over it, maybe make another cog somewhere, that would be great. Now that we're finished with all these cogs, I thought it didn't blend into the face well. It didn't make it look like we were that much of a steampunk android person thing. I know this is like a made up theme, more of artistic sci-fi genre. So I am getting some gold eyeshadow on my fingertips and patting that very lightly on the skin that's on the outside of the cogs to make it look like our skin belongs next to it. Like we're all golden and beautiful and shimmery. And as you can tell on the forehead, we are gonna leave it mostly blank. You could put some eyeshadow up there, but we didn't draw anything up there because we're gonna save that for something else. You'll just have to see. Now that looks like our face is gold and shimmery, like fairies just farted some pixie dust all over our face that was gold and beautiful. That made it sound weird, but I'm sure it will look nice. 
We are gonna put something on that forehead area and it is a pair of goggles. It was really hard to put this on my head without messing up the hair. These are ones that I found at an outdoor swap meet. Surprisingly enough, I found out that they are from Harry Potter of all things. I should have spray painted it gold too, but maybe that's too much. But I thought it gave it a good steampunk look like we just got off of a plane or steam engine. We're gonna put these goggles where you usually have them when you're on a ride somewhere and draw in the outer lines of it with that brown eyeliner pencil we used before. Put it back up on your head where it won't mess up your hair but just sitting on your forehead. And then we're gonna get some matte brown eyeshadow with a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and start dusting in next to the eyeliner mark we just made so it looks like we have been through dirt in the skies on an aviation ride. Don't smudge the cogs too much when you're doing this. Just lightly tap it so you don't smear all the work you just did. But you wanted to make it look like you just took your goggles off and you still have the bare skin underneath where it was to show your beautiful eye makeup. I don't know if steampunk people worried about that, but it just gives us cool effect. Getting some of that gel eyeliner with a stippling sponge and stippling where we did the brown eyeshadow where it looks like dirt. This is going to give it a really cool, gritty, rustic look and it's going to blend better next to your cogs and make it look like real pieces of dirt and dust hit your face from whatever wild, crazy steampunk adventure you just came from. And now it's time to do the lips. We're gonna get to my favorite red lipstick. This is the Matte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint from Tarte in Fiery and put in those red lips. Getting a lip brush and just making sure that the lines are crisp. Now this is optional, but I wanted to do an ombre effect on my lips to go all fancy. Get whatever black lipstick you have or I'm getting the black color from my flash palette with another lip brush and just doing an ombre effect. You're gonna have it black at the corners and blend into that red. It's not too hard to do. You could blend it with a Q-tip to do the ombre effect of blending the black and the red in a gradient to make it perfect or semi near perfect. Then I'm just getting some gold paint and putting it in the center of it and some gold eyeshadow on top of it to give it that gold and red pop to blend in with those cogs or look like it matches it a little bit. Like you just made out with King Midas himself. Now that you're done with your beautiful ombre black and red gold lip, you could get a black liquid eyeliner and draw in the outlines of the cogs. Maybe they smeared a little bit from all of that brown effect of the goggles and the dirt on your face. But that's the finished makeup look. I hope you guys like this. I know it's a lot different than my usual makeup tutorials, but I just love steampunk things and I had to do this. If you're wondering, this gold key necklace around my neck is from Forever 21. This beautiful Victorian-esque top is from Choice, and so is this beautiful black striped skirt that you could adjust. But I love their style and fashion and the Victorian things. The tights that I paired with this are from American Apparel. But I hope you guys had as much fun watching this as I had making it. This was not as difficult to take off as usual. You just have to make sure you don't smear that red lipstick all over your face. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And what I would like to know today is, what is a makeup transformation that you guys would like to see in the future? I always love your input. I will definitely be seeing you soon with more makeup transformations. I'm leaving for Texas on Wednesday. You could follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblrs, all of them to know when that is and what I'll be up to out there. All the products that I used in this video, of course, will be down in the description box, along with this awesome hairdo that took forever for me to get out. I probably had about, not joking, almost 50 bobby pins in there, but it came out almost as good as Graveyard Girls here on YouTube. I'll link her video down below on how she did this, because she is the real professional at this, and I just tried it for this video. How does she do it? And I love you guys. Bye.